Okay guys, so we've got another tool review for you today and I'm really excited about this one because this is going to be kind of a fun tool. And uh, what, what I'm looking at is a rolling tool stool uh, for a garage. And uh, I would argue maybe more that it's a seat height rolling service cart. Uh, it's got removable side trays and a drawer and locking wheels and it just looks like a really cool tool. So I'm super excited about this. Uh, let me show you why I'm excited about this. Okay, this is the box that came in. This is what I've been dealing with for probably the last five years. Uh, I've got a Home Depot bucket and uh, it's full of garage sand for if I spill a little oil on the driveway or whatever, make a mess. I've been toting this around for years. And I had an old stool that I that broke and I repurposed the, uh, the cushion on it and it, I figured one day it fits on there. It makes a pretty good seat. So this is what I've been using for like five years. I have zero complaints about this. It's using stuff I already have. It was free, but it is nowhere near uh, the cool tool that is inside this box. So that's what I got here. So I want to give a big shout out and a huge thanks to the good folks at Vivor for sending this unit out for me to test and review for you guys. So uh, let's get this thing cut open and see what it looks like in here. Definitely gonna be fun. I'm looking really forward to this. I'm assuming that this is going to require some assembly. Stuff like this generally does. Very carefully cut this because I don't know what's inside of it. There we go. All right. Okay. I've got an instruction sheet. This is what the unit looks like. Hopefully you can see that. And a simple instruction sheet. Looks easy to, easy to figure out. That's cool. Okay, well, this is neat. Comes with a nice uh, medium density pad. And it looks like it's got straps that unbuckle and I'm assuming they kind of attach to the tool. And look at this, it unzips and there's your foam. So you can take this off and wash it, I'm assuming. And that's pretty cool, I, I like that. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. Let's see, this is, this is why this is no normal garage stool. This is one of the two side trays. These are molded plastic and it looks like they've got cleats so they probably hold in place pretty well. And it looks like they hold spray bottles and maybe screwdrivers. They've got holes in each one for, uh, you know, screwdriver tools or something along these lines. Super cool. And is that about it? The unit itself. See what this looks like. It's got a nice curvature to it, so I guess maybe you don't want to fall off. That's handy, I suppose. It's um, heavy molded plastic, which, you know, I don't hate because uh, if plastic is molded properly and built well, it holds uh, every bit of the weight that you need. It is rated at 300 pounds is what I understand. So um, I'm assuming that there'll be framework that's metal for the wheels. Um, so that's cool. and. Looks like we've got a drawer. And the drawer comes all the way out, which is super handy. And they even sent me two pretty nice end wrenches. Wow, neat. I don't have to round up tools. Cool. Okay, neat. Um, pretty standard stuff. Seems pretty well built. I dig it. What else we got in here? A packet of wheels. Okay, I'll have to these open. I don't have to cut them. That's neat. Okay. This is exciting. You know, getting tools isn't always just about getting stuff done. Sometimes it's about having fun. And I mean, Christmas is coming up and as far as a, a presents go, anybody with a garage or that tinkers in their garage with uh, cars or, you know, detailing their vehicles or whatever, this is an awesome gift. I, I would love to get this for Christmas. So this is, this is neat. Um, it's, they're nothing special, but they definitely will do the job. Caster wheels. Okay, this has four caster wheels, not just two. Uh, it has two locking and two non-locking wheels, uh, but it has all four casters. And uh, anybody who has rolling toolboxes or uh, um, service carts in their garage will know that the difference between having two casters and two straight uh, wheels and four casters is night and day. It makes uh, every tool way more usable. A lot of guys will take a toolbox that they get that has two casters and two straights and they'll just redo it with four casters because it just makes all the difference in the world. So the fact that this has uh, locking, um, locking wheels and 
all four casters means this is going to be really, uh, really convenient. Super cool. I like that. Okay. Throw that away. What else we got here? Ah, yes. Okay, see? We've got two metal rails, and that is the entirety of that box. I have two metal rails that look like they're going to go on the bottom of this and hold wheels on each corner and then mount to the base. So there's your uh, structure for the wheels and the weight that you're holding. Looks like a good unit. I don't see anything wrong. I don't see anything missing. As long as this bag of hardware is complete, we should be good to go. I'm really excited about this. What a fun tool. What a fun toy, really. Um, I, I can see a lot of uses for this. I can see, uh, it looks to me like maybe it's set up, if you had to pick a use for this, I would say it's set up for a detailer, someone who is uh, detailing wheels uh, for a living or uh, anything where you're seated really. But uh, I could see if you're doing repetitive motion or if you're running a buffer along the side of a car for you know three or four hours, you could just move down two feet, lock the wheels, run your buffer, unlock, move down, run your, lock the wheels, run your buffer, you know, detail your wheels out. Um, you know, th th this is this is good. Anything that your seat height with and where you spend time on your knees, this is going to ergonomically help you out a bunch. So super cool. I'm really excited about this. This is really neat. Um, let me take a few minutes and get this thing all assembled uh, as per the instructions, and then we'll give it a good test and a review, and we'll move on from there. Okay guys, so we were able to get this thing put together and I had no problems. It showed up with all of the parts that it needed, it wasn't missing anything, even had a nice little set of tools to put it together with and the instructions were super easy to follow. So very happy and uh, impressed with how this went together and uh, it, it just is a nice cool little, a little rolling bench. So um, yeah, pretty cool. What I'd like to do is give it a, a mild bench test, I guess you might say, and uh, load it up with some stuff and just kind of see how that goes since that's one of its main features is that it um, holds tools for you. So what I've got here is just some random stuff uh, from the garage that a guy may or may not use or need on a job. And um, we'll load it up real quick and just kind of see how that goes. So uh, first off, uh, I've got a drawer in the front and I think that this is a good use for some racks. So it holds quite a bit more than that. You can put more stuff in there, but I think that rags is a good use for that. Um, I've got screwdriver holes, and so I think that I could throw some screwdrivers in here. That looks pretty good. I've got cans, some lubricants, some brake clean, and these, these inserts have two different sizes. There's a larger and a smaller insert size, and I've got two different size cans, so uh, very handily, they both fit in there pretty nicely. And these 
these trays kind of lock into place a little bit so they don't, you know, they're not hard to remove and put in, but they don't like fall out, which is pretty ingenious. So the other side of the equation here, I've um, got some BB blaster and some goof off. This is a thicker can, wider diameter, that'll fit in there. I'll put a little thing of goof off in there if I'm getting some stickers off. Uh, I've got, I've got a magnifying glass, a tire gauge, uh, uh, and a tire uh, pressure valve, Schrader valve, sorry. And those can go right in there like that. Um, now, you know what? Let's put these on the other side. We'll put these tools over here. This will be kind of the tool side. A pair of safety glasses, and there's like a a notch in this handle here, and I don't know, we can stick those on there like that. Cool thing about a tool like this is, you know, it's your imagination that goes here. You can put anything anywhere you want and use it for any use that you want. And this thing could be used for in any industry. Anytime you got to sit down and hold tools or screws and nuts and bolts or whatever you need, this thing looks like it would do the job. Um, I've got a bin of just some random uh, nuts and bolts, and let's just say that. Let's just say this is the ones I need. They can go in here and stay separated in the bin that I put them in. And if I'm removing nuts and bolts off of a car or whatever, I've got open slots that I can set stuff in. So that's that's handy. All right, I got two more screwdrivers and there's a couple more slots here. And I'm not going to load down every inch of it because you kind of want some working space. And I have my favorite magnetic flashlight here and you know, the majority of this is plastic, but the wheel rails are metal. And so what I think is that I can just magnet a flashlight around the base of that and have whatever I'm working on lit up LED wise. So that is pretty much everything that I laid out here. And as you can see, not bad. I mean, it holds it. It's, it's not falling out. It's not going anywhere. Looking pretty good. So really impressed. This is a really cool little tool. I've never had anything like this before. So neat. So the, the next thing I want to do is uh, put this on a bit of an actual test. I'll put it on the floor and maybe take it over to one of my cars, sit on it and maybe detail a couple of wheels out on it and roll around a little bit. Just kind of make sure that it actually works in a practical application. So we'll go to that next. Okay, okay guys, so we've got this thing done on the floor. Hey, that's, that's pretty comfy actually. That medium density foam is not bad. I can move it around and I'm not losing any of my stuff. The wall's pretty good. I have a pretty nice clean garage floor and I think that's a, pretty much a must when you have rolling seats or tools or toolboxes, anything. That the cleaner your floor is, uh, the less clutter and less dust and rocks and stuff, the better you are. But it rolls just great. So I'm super happy about that. So. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm just going to do a quick quick wax on the wheels of my Corvette here and um, kind of give that the old test of roux here. So I'm going to position. I can turn on my light like I had shown. Uh, it's magneted to the frame. That works out good. It doesn't move. It doesn't fall. I have my safety glasses here in case I would need those, but I think we'll be okay on this one. And uh, just in case we thought maybe we were going to go somewhere, I can lock down these two wheels. And doesn't want to move. So there we go. Now I've got some quick wax and a chamois, and we'll just give a quick shot on these rims and give it a little wipe down here. Give the old stingray a little shine. I'm super comfortable. This height is great. Beautiful. I can see my reflection in there now. And like I was saying before, if you were running a, a buffer, um, detailing a car or doing auto paint correction, you know, this is a great height for running a tool like this. And I can't move. It's kind of like, hey, I, I need to let go here. So I would just unlock these and then I can work my way down the car as, as needed. So I will now, without standing up, just roll my way down to the next wheels. Just like that. That was easy. A couple quick shots of quick wax. And a little wipe. I 
and the wheels on the other side of the car are going to be a little jealous, but what they don't know won't hurt them. It's okay. Okay. Good. Just like that. So I'm good. It's falling off. Stand up and sit down. I'm done working. I'm turning my light off. Stays there. Good one. I got more rags. I got them if I need them. I can grab a grab a tool if I need it. Stick it back on. Nothing's falling off. Pretty cool, guys. I'm pretty impressed. This is a neat little tool. I uh, I've been spoiled uh, to have even a bucket with a pad on it. Um, you know, for many many years in my younger days, I just was on my knees and getting up and down a bunch of times. Ergonomics is everything in this life. So take care of yourself. Uh, sit down whenever you can. Uh, any repetitive motion. Get a chair. Uh, if you know somebody who doesn't have one like this, get it for them. What a great gift. What a, what a great tool. So, all right. So anyway, I think that's going to do it for this one. So uh, yeah, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.